what you got going on, Joe? How's the day been treating you? Uh, pretty good. Drove eight hours over to Idaho. Bought a license. Three day one, as a matter of fact. I started today. <laughs> for some reason. You gotta get busy, boy. And I'm sitting in a parking lot <laughs> trying to figure out where I'm gonna have a bowel movement at the very moment. <laughs> Let's go find us one. As soon as this map downloads, we're going. But man back there had some pictures of wolves and stuff, so I'm gonna know where I'm at. And I'm gonna know get the hell out of there. <laughs> at all times. What you think back there, Sleeves? Damn. Old and tired. You're tired? Yeah. yeah I get, when I put my boots back on, I'll come back. You wrap up? Yeah. We uh, made it to Idaho. We, I don't think we got, y'all just, y'all video anything this morning? Huh? Did y'all video anything this morning? I didn't. Probably yeah. nothing important. I give them a camera, but you can't depend on them. I, uh, we already had the room for another night in Washington and, uh, Place we wanted to go over here is a nice little clip away. Decided to let them go play, and I did some editing. Got y'all a video cut up, and then a little bit after daylight, a couple of hours, we cut out and we've made it to the other side. Now we're gonna go in here, a little shy of lunch. We're gonna try to round us up one with an Idaho license plate. Anybody else? Y'all got any input? Anything you want to say? Go in here and see if we can find something. New place. Same old three dusty pilgrims. somewhere that way right up all up in somewhere up in here maybe over here but kind of sort of in here right where the sky meets some trees he's just a little bit further than that I wonder if he moved up more since all the snow's melted because there is a ton of sign down here that's what it is all looks really old mm -hmm. they wintered down here probably I guess Every day something wrong with us. That, is that, that turkey's that, that way. way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's up out of the road, ain't he? Back there above them food food plots. You gonna go that way? Gobbler down, he's right up there. Did you hear him? Just went. But what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna head out, get back to the vehicle, go get a place to stay tonight, come back in here and try to roost these turkeys for the evening. We'll put somebody on that one, somebody in that next draw, and then somebody is gonna just go rogue. Just head on up the mountain, see if they can't put their ears on one, so. Ain't none of it fresh. What to go do, Drew? Well, wind's picked up to about 57 miles an hour. Uh, Dave's going back to find us a room, get all that stuff set up, and, and possibly do some video editing and all that stuff. So, me and Sleazy was going to head back, probably cut us a nap or something, piddle around, but we ain't got nothing but time, so. I guess if I'm gonna take a nap, it's either gonna be on top of this mountain right here. But maybe we'll strike something, get to work. They've been a turkey goblin up there yeah. for an yeah. hour and a half. But Got a little business to take care of. He may have a hint or two. We're just gonna go 12. snoot him out a little bit, huh? Maybe if he'll just keep gobbling on his own. Fresh stuff. We ain't been separated about 10 or 15 minutes and we've come upon some pretty fresh scratching under these pines. We're getting pretty close to
to where that bird was at earlier today. I had to slow it down. getting out of Dodge One. We walked above them probably 100, 125. Yeah. Walked right through all the fresh sign. Started witting, answered right below us. This spot we're setting, this looks good. I feel like the turkey will come up to the right. That's right. Up that drain. Yeah. That's my good shoulder if he does. He's coming out. Right up this drain, you think?
don't move. we got but we got the gobbler I forgot it it was pointed that way <laughs> gobbler <laughs> come out of it and wreck it <laughs> look at what a turkey <laughs> did you see the hen huh did you ever see the hand? Never was saw that him. That got to whitting? I, I, yeah, that was him. He was putting. He saw me. What happens? That freaking limb I cut on the right hand side. I went to try to ease up to kill him down here in this road. I mean, he popped up right in the middle of that darn road, man. I looked down and I seen the cap of his head. And then every time, like it was just moving coming up the hill. But he saw in the road right there. So you see this stump, there's a stump right on the edge of the road. He kind of cut his head back, and I had like six inches on the back side of that stump to shoot him. So when he went behind that stump, I moved. Well, he pulled his head right up in the middle of that six inches, and I just couldn't get the bead on him, and he started putting. That limb I had trimmed fell off the side of my leg. And he started putting. He went back down the road. And I almost cut out right there and went down here and just over the top to him. You know what I'm saying? But I could tell when he was gobbling that he was coming up in here with us. So I moved to that little tree right there, and man, he's he's bleeding. I heard he's you bleeding. say there he is, and I just pointed it around your gun. I said, "Don't move." I could see his head coming back. And when you shot, it had to be on the turkey, cause I seen his wing flip in the screen. Atta boy. Atta so, boy. Boy, he's a beauty, ain't he? Uh huh, son. Big Looks boy. like a big old turkey. Big old rascal. Been listening to his turkey gobble for a couple hours. He had a hen down there with him, but. What time you got? 5.08. 5 o'clock. Yeah. 5 o'clock, 500. Did you turn that shoulder thing on? It's on. It's <laughs> on. <laughs> Makes a young man proud, maybe, you know? He probably cusses, us, but we're pretty proud of it. <laughs> yeah. The B team managed to pull one off this evening. Beautiful place for it to happen. That's right. I'd like to hear about 20 gobblers for gobble tonight. Would these licenses cost us about 164 or 50? Something like that. I'm gonna shoot an Instagram one for him real quick. All right. What should I say? What you want me to say? The balls had to go clock in. Yeah, me the and balls the was on the time clock.
pretty speechless. I mean, I don't know what else to. <laughs> I mean, we're just trying to smoke a cigar, you know. Thank you, Lord. We've had a blessed evening. <laughs> We've had a very blessed evening. If I'm not mistaken, I still hadn't turned the camera off from our cigar session. I just reached up and grabbed it. Well, Dave will get his morning hunt. He will. We've got to find him. <laughs> well, we just sat here another few minutes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thank you for letting me shoot your gun. Yes, sir. How'd you like that thing? I liked it a lot. Let's we'll see my hunt here on this turkey. Uh, but to explain to you how we got to this situation, <clears throat> we grabbed a set of license. Me, Dave, and Sleazy ran in. I mean, great little mom and pop country store and got in and out of there and we just started doing a little cruising. Jesus. This is unbelievable. Two of them. I don't know that I've ever been in a place like this. We're gonna have to hide. Yeah. Did you pick my cigar up? Anyways, I'm gonna try to shoot this real fast. We got a, a couple gobblers closing on this dangest place I've ever been to or seen in my life. Um, we're shooting an interview with my turkey smoking a cigar and uh, freaking turkey gobbles over our shoulder. Right here is where my turkey is. Turkey gobbles over our shoulder, right behind that dead log right there about 60 yards. So we flip around, this turkey stayed hanging in the tree, and we jumped into this little pile of brush right here. And originally thought he may be coming up this road right here, down below us. And the more we got to listening to him, he was coming right behind that dead log right there. And he got the high ground on us and worked the high ground all the way up. And then he come all the way down right here to 20 yards and uh it's just unbelievable probably the hardest goblin turkey a couple hours for fly up and uh put on a show put on an absolute show so here right, we are when the fruit drop we pick it that's right unbelievable yep <laughs> Did you find your cigar? I don't know what I did with I it. I saw that thing. I had it stuck in the corner of no, my No, you laid it up against a log somewhere. It was on this. Here it is. There it is, right there, that little ledge. You ready to smoke other half of these things? Yeah. Take two. Lord have mercy, what a, what an afternoon in the great state of Idaho. Sleazy. That it was. We've had some good times in the past few years. This is up. Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down at the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.